वेलकम बैक आई एम प्रताप हियर टुडे इज अ फिफ्थ आगस्ट 2024 इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस एवैल्यूएट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन जनरेटेड इन आवर प्रीवियस नियो स्टॉक सॉफ्टवेयर रिपोर्ट बिफोर एवैल्यूएशन ऑफ दीज जोन्स एन अनाउंसमेंट प्लीज इफ दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट विजिट टू अवर चैनल प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग कंप्लीट फ्री ट्रेनिंग ऑन सप्लाई डिमांड जोन प्राइज एक्शन all the training lessons are available at our neo stock youtube channel so at our channel click on this community tab then you get access to this post this post is having a youtube playlist link that will take you to all the training videos just click on this link now we are into the playlist supply demand zone price action course here you have all the training lessons are available we have so far 62 ट्रेनिंग वीडियो लेसन आर अवेलेबल एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट रीसेंट ट्रेनिंग लेसन ट्वेंटी फोर सो इफ यू स्क्रोल डाउन टू द बॉटम ऑफ द पेज हियर यू कैन फाइंड द लेसन वन पॉइंट वन सो फ्रॉम हियर गो थ्रो ऑल दीज लेसन वन बै वन आल दीज लेसन आर अवेलेबल इन एन आर्डर एंड प्लीज गो थ्रो आल दीज लेसन एंड स्ट्रेंथ एन एवर स्किल्स रिलेटेड टू सप्लाई डिमांड जोन प्राइज एक्शन i have also provided the link to our telegram channel in this youtube video description so from this video description please join in the telegram channel it will be helpful to you each time when we release a new video or any other important update we will provide in the channel so now let's get into the analysis discussion previous report we have identified four uh, high liquidity zones from daily and 75 minutes time frame and you will be able to find these uh, high liquidity zones once we enable the premium service videos so in the weekend only you will be getting the links to those videos so the first one is uh, obri reality we have a high liquidity zone rally base rally it looks like this zone is violated right but we didn't take a trade in this zone we know that this zone will be violated how do we know this zone will be violated so once we find june you will understand you know how to find june you already learned in lesson 16 so go to the 75 minutes time frame inside a daily zone we identified we have a drop three base candles and a rally candle this is a 75 minute zone inside 75 again we fine tuned with 15 minutes time frame in the 15 minutes time frame you have a drop two base candles and a rally candle and again if you fine tune the 15 minutes with 5 minutes time frame so here you have a erc candle drop candle as a leg in you have 1 2 3 4 base candles and a rally candle this is the fine tuned 5 minute zone and the prices went up and already they tested this zone picked up the orders and then moved that means this zone is a tested tested zone you cannot take the trade you can take a trade if it is a high liquidity zone but this may not be a high liquidity if you doesn't know if you doesn't have a confirmation this is a high liquidity zone in the 5 minutes time frame you cannot plan the second trade this is what i explained in the high liquidity zone strategy you can go for a second trade when there are huge rejections from this zone you have strong price action close at the time you can plan but uh, here uh, already prices went inside couple of times so it is a high risky to take a trade there are higher chances the zone will be violated that is what happened today today prices came they moved up a little but not good enough and then again came down and finally the zone is violated because you already learned in lesson 16 when a zone will be violated so this is one classic example when a zone will be violated because this is a fine tuned zone is a tested zone there are higher chances the zone will be violated that is what happened so that's why obrai we didn't plan any trade next one is uh, laris labs this is a seven uh, daily high liquidity supply zone 
so this is the daily time frame so we have a drop one two three base candles and again a drop this is what identified by our software high liquidity zone and this high liquidity demand zone is fine tuned with 75 minutes time frame in the recent uh, time frame uh, i mean in the recent time the price has entered into this zone at that time again a new zone is created inside this a 75 minute zone we have a rally for base candles and again a drop candle rally base drop and also again you have one more zone drop base drop so these are the two fine tuned 75 minute zones are identified but the the one above i didn't fine tune why i didn't fine tune you look you will understand once we get into 15 minutes time frame but the lower one we fine tune so i'm moving on to the 15 minutes time frame see here in the 15 minutes time frame we didn't have a proper structure we didn't find any proper uh, supply zone inside this area so this is the reason why we didn't fine tune we know this zone will be easily violated next time prices enter into this area but here you have a drop 1 2 3 4 5 base candles and again a drop candle drop base drop it, the 15 minute zone previously once prices came near to this zone inside the 15 minute zone and then again came down that means there is a strong order flow here okay the exact order flow you will understand once you get into the 5 minutes time frame anyway this we cannot find you because there is no proper 15 minute structure here inside the 15 minute zone see here we have a rally candle you have 1 2 3 4 5 base candles and a drop candle with a small pro gap see previously what happened prices came near to this 5 minute zone let me draw a horizontal line to bring clarity just before entering into the pro gap area anyway the pro gap is very small and already you have a fine tune 5 minute zone is there so and then prices came down that means there is a very strong order flow in this blue color area next time when prices cross this blue color area you can plan the trade or after entering into the fine tune 5 minute zone also you can plan it is up to you in case if you want to keep a buffer in this blue color area we can plan but unfortunately today prices did not enter into this zone we didn't get a trade so this is a today's price action with a gap down prices came down so we didn't get a chance to enter into this but how i find you this is a good example for you especially those who are learning or practicing for fine tuning the zones in a better way this is about laras labs so daily high liquidity supply zone and the next one is uh, hindustan petroleum this is a 75 minutes uh, high liquidity demand zone i am moving on to the 75 minutes time frame so it's a very interesting uh, analysis here today anyway this is the erc candle this is the drop candle and then we have four base candles and a rally candle so this is the 75 minute zone identified by the software this is the leg out low of the leg out is the distal line this is what you learned in your lesson 4 uh, i think if i am not wrong okay this 75 minute zone fine tuned with the 15 minutes time frame see here we have a, a small rally candle leg in two base candles and a drop candle see the risk of this zone this is not really comfortable okay we have drawn the zone but it's not really comfortable having such a big risk why i have drawn just to check if there is any good fine tune 5 minute zone is available here so but when i get into the fine tune 5 minute zone see here look into all the candles there is no proper base candle within this area have a leg candle another leg candle so no base candles leg out leg out without base so obviously this is not a good in the 5 minutes time frame but today in the price action but this remember this is a complicated analysis 
it's not uh, easy to plan such kind of trades but still this is a drop based rally but leg out is not good enough in case next retracement if you want to plan this is not a good zone maybe compromise and you can draw drop based drop but this is not a very good zone because of the leg out is not really great here but see the here we have a drop within the this is a this is a 15 minute zone inside 15 we are fine during 5 minutes this is on the live market please remember all these candles are in the live market see today at 12:35 candle we have a drop then we have a base this leg out is valid that way you can draw a zone like this so we have a drop base rally in the live market and then prices came down and uh, picked up the orders and see the move this is the way you could have you could have planned a trade in this zone if that is the case your target is 15 minutes is there any 15 minute zone yes we here we have a drop base drop a 15 minute zone is there this is the 15 minute supply zone reached but this is also a valid 15 minutes this is a erc candle as a leg out candle because of this uh, hidden gap you can add hidden body that way you can assume this could be a drop candle so in a dynamic way you can draw this zone because some of the times our zones we are drawing in a dynamic way previously once i explained you in the q and a videos how we can draw dynamic zones in the live market that way we can assume this is one way whether you can exit or even if you would have planned if you ignored this erc candle as a leg out even if you plan drop based drop still it reached the target so your target could be either here or here so in the 5 minutes uh, you see here you have a drop base rally and then and uh, this entire drop base rally is inside this uh, 15 minutes fine tuned area earlier we thought this 15 minutes fine tuned area is not really great because of a huge risk in this area but anyway our entries are 5 minutes time frame that way you could have planned a trade here but this is not easy let me tell you this is not easy to find such kind of zones but it happened to be today price a zone is created and immediately came down picked up the orders and it moved why i am not saying this is not easy many times you know how you plan the zones of course high liquidity zones we ignore this point high liquidity zones we look for whether there is a fine tuned 5 minute zone is a, there or not but in general what we do the zone should have a zone achievement see drop base drop at the time when we take the trade this zone is not having any achievement after it picked up the orders and moved up and then this zone got the achievement drop because this drop base drop is violated the supply zone is violated now this zone got the achievement once it got the achievement it will become a tradable zone this is as per zone achievement but high liquidity zones point of view we don't bother about the zone achievements what we do we look for a fine tuned zone that's it if you keep all these points in your mind then if you would have planned a trade this could have been a, a successful trade for you today but many times what we do this 15 minute zone mostly we ignore because this is not a good 15 minute zone so huge candle and the legin is also not really a good legin okay it is a small legin sometimes it looks like a base candle small size base candle that may also you may treat you may treat this is a legin erc candle as a legin then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 base candles you may ignore like see different people will do analysis in a different way okay if you consider this is a medium size candle some people definitely they can consider this is a small candle small candles all small candles whether it is completely filled or partially filled or 50% uh, wicks are there 
our 100% body is there small candles are always nrc candles narrow range candles they are qualified as a base candle so if you consider this as a base candle probably this is not a valid zone you don't accept this but if you consider a medium size candle but it is the smallest among the medium size if you treat like that this could be a legging candle valid legging a rally to base candles and again a rally candle but lowest week is lowest week of leg out is the distal line so that's why you have drawn the zone like this even though the risk is very high your goal is finding the fine tuned 5 minutes that's why in the fine 5 minutes time frame you didn't find any valid zone but what happened in the dynamic market inside this fine tuned 15 minutes you identified a drop base rally and next time when they came even though it doesn't have a zone achievement but this is a high liquidity zone and our goal is only fine tuned zone you could have taken a trade that way you got the trade and finally it reached this target at 1440 candle you got the entry when you got the entry at 1250 or 1255 candle even at 13 candle in all the three candles you would have got a trade trade opportunity you got after that it moved and lot of time it was here from 1310 to 1245 prices moved within this area after that again the prices moved up finally it reached the target this could have been a good profit in case if you would have but what i am trying to say it is not easy to find such kind of zones you need a lot of experience and you should have courage to accept this trade it's not easy in practicals theoretically okay we can discuss but practically considering all these points and getting acceptance is not practical so this is one of the reasons why i'm not consider this as a a valid trade for us but actually strictly speaking this is valid because this is a fine tuned area but dynamically fine tuned inside the 15 minute zone the 15 minute zone many people don't accept such kind of big zones but okay it is valid and dynamically fine tuned 5 minute zone is created and we got the trade okay at least how much profit you would have in case if you would have done this kind of analysis how much profit you would have got let us check first how much rr we got first that we will check because these are all landings sir because when you see such kind of uh, zones or trades in future you will uh, get clarity i am adding small buffer before this where is it okay small stop loss i added small entry buffer a little before we exited let us assume somewhere here still you got 1 is to 5 rr you got so it's a very good return 1 is to 5 rr how much profit you would have got let us check the low of this candle is uh, 386 let us say 38775 you exited and what could be your entry i have the candle 37860 a little before you took that So three seventy eight uh, seventy ten paisa before you take a uh, three seventy five 
So 9 rupees 10 paisa, approximately 9 rupees, ok anyway 9.1. So in the stun petroleum, let us look into the zero the margin calculator. So in the stun petroleum is not here, so it is a valid. August expiry. So, margin, where is the closing? Here. So, it could have been, uh, we would have taken, maybe the margin could have been a little lower. So, let us say around 2 lakh 2000 is the margin cost. So, 9.1 into 2025. So, you would have got 18,427 rupees profit. What is the ROI? 2 lakh 2000. You would have got 9.1 percent ROI we would have got. If you have courage to accept such kind of trade, this could have been your profit by the time it reaches this uh, target zone. But what we do mostly in the 15 minutes uh, this 15 minute zone itself we don't accept. We don't uh, draw this zone. Mostly we ignore this. How people do analysis in this zone? Let me show you how generally we do the analysis. With the current experience of uh, many of the people what you learn. Because you will not accept this 15 minute zone. So what you do? You go to the 15 minutes time frame in the live market you already land in the recently in lesson 22 I think if I am not wrong or lesson 21 yeah in lesson 21.5 uh, uh, or 6 uh, I have explained uh, dynamic zones in lesson 21. So a dynamic 15 minute zone this is a daily this is a 75 minute zone this is a 75 minutes high liquidity zone. In this 75 minutes high liquidity zone, you do not draw this 15 minute zone. Instead, what you do? A dynamic zone is created today. Draw base rally. Probably this you could have drawn. This is the 15 minutes demand zone. Draw base rally. In this 15 minutes demand zone, you would have drawn 5 minute zone. Here you have a 5 minute zone. Okay, by the time this 15 minutes demand zone, when 15 minutes demand zone is completed, this is the lag out at 13 hour, 13 hour, that means 13.15 uh, this candle is completed. Opening is 13 hour, but 13.15 this candle is completed. So after 13.15, you would have drawn this zone. Go to the 5. This is 13.15. This is the 13.15 5 minutes candle. After this, you would have looked into this fine tuning the zone. So, by the time 15 minutes leg out is completed, already in 5 minutes time frame, a 5 minute zone is created and again picked up the orders and moved up. Definitely, next time you would have rejected this zone because this zone is already tested. This is the way you would have considered. Maybe type 2 proximal, if you draw, you will consider next time again when it comes here. Type 2 proximal level. But type 1 proximal already it is tested. So that way you would not have got any trade in this zone. Because by the time the 15 minutes candle is completed, this is already picked up the orders and then moved up. And then you didn't you never got an opportunity after 13 after 13 15, you didn't get an opportunity to trade in this zone because prices did enter. <coughs> Instead of that, if you would have drawn the zone here, 
drop base drop the one i explained earlier this explanation already i gave you but again i am explaining to compare with the recent explanation this we fine tune zone you already drawn now what you do you go to the 15 five minutes time frame you would have ignored this 15 minute zone because by the time 15 minutes is not completed because already we are inside the already drawn fine tune 15 minute zone so your thought is only 5 minute zones because a 5 minute zone is created drop base drop definitely you would have picked up the orders and here you you would have exited that way you would have got a profit of 18000 that is 9.1% roi you would have got that's why i am saying this is the complicated analysis when you do such kind of analysis then you will be a perfect trader of course it takes some time for you to get into this kind of understanding level but ultimately everybody should aim to do such kind of analysis but it's not easy it takes some time for you people even if you do you have lot of fears in accepting such kind of trades so over a period of time you will get clarity and you will be in a position to do such kind of analysis because this is an interesting stock i spend some amount for you for so that you people will learn something from this particular stock so anyway hindustan petroleum it has given a very good trade opportunity but doing an analysis proper analysis only would have given you this kind of opportunity it's not an easy analysis okay this is about hindustan petroleum and the last stock is polycab this is a 15 minute zone this is a sorry 75 minutes high liquidity zone so with the gap down this zone is violated and also we already expected this zone will be violated how we expected because the fine tuned area is already tested how i fine tuned first 15 minutes time frame first 75 minutes did i explain no right yeah 75 minutes we have a rally candle two base candles rally candle this is what our neo stock software identified this zone and this one we fine tuned with 15 minutes time frame we have a rally base rally this is looking excellent 15 minutes rally base rally and this 15 minutes zone again fine tuned with 5 minutes time frame in the 5 minutes we have a rally candle three base candles and again a rally candle with a uh, hidden body if you add the hidden body this is again a rally candle follow through candles but i just draw, you can draw the zone like this but type 3 proximal i have drawn the reason is previously even type 3 also prices entered see here prices entered into the even the type 3 fine tuned area it picked up the orders and moved up because this zone is already tested we can't plan a trade and moreover type 3 level also tested generally we don't look for type 3 proximal type 2 or type 1 we will take but type 3 is very rare unless the risk is high even type 3 is also tested that is what i want to tell you that's why we can't plan a trade we know that this zone will be violated but anyway today the zone is violated with a gap down so this is because we already learned when a zone will be violated if you don't find a fine tune five minutes area there are higher chances the zones will be violated okay this is about polycap so these are the four high liquidity zones those who have, would have done a those who would have done a complicated analysis probably those people would have got a trade in hindustan petroleum but otherwise it is not practical let me frankly tell you it is not a practical if anybody would have done this analysis it would have been a very good trade for you today so except this we didn't get any other trade opportunities so this is about uh, today's uh, high liquidity zone analysis as per uh, the stocks we identified in the previous uh, session let us all meet again in our next video thank you